Hello, this is Andrew coming to you from Asheville, North Carolina. I recently watched Titanic, and no, I'm not afraid to admit it. And it made me think. So, 1,500 people died. A lot of them jumped off the ship uh, when the ship was sinking. <laughs> which uh, must have been a very terrible and freezing experience. What if those people had share body heat, like emperor, emperor penguins down in Antarctica? Or how much longer could they have survived? So I know that the human body runs at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and that the water that night was 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your body gets down to the mid 80s, in Fahrenheit that your muscles stop coordinating. <laughs> You've basically succumbed to hypothermia. You should have had 1,100 survivors. And instead, I think you had something like 700. No, don't, 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 don't. There was room on the life rafts and they could have stacked the life rafts more than they did, of course. And they were only filling up the rafts with, in certain cases, even just a dozen. I'm here at the entrance of the Vanderbilt estate, uh, the Biltmore. I'm not going in today because it's 65 bucks, and I'm sorry, but I think that's ridiculous for some gaudy mansion, even though it is beautiful. It got me thinking a little bit about some of the wealthier individuals that went down with the RMS Titanic. Uh, John Jacob Astor, uh, Ben Guggenheim. I did learn that apparently uh, George Vanderbilt, the grandson of Cornelius Vanderbilt, uh, was supposed to be on the Titanic. I don't know why he didn't end up boarding, but apparently they're going to be having a Titanic exhibition here at the Vanderbilt Estate, the Biltmore. So another thing that comes to mind is that it's really too bad the Titanic didn't slam nose first into the iceberg. See, that wasn't so bad. They swerved the ship in order to try to avoid it, and that's what ended up gashing the long opening in the hull and ultimately sinking it. They you know, can I also say that for as green and progressive as Asheville claims to be, Look at this. I mean, it's a bunch of concrete and cars and construction. And another reason the Titanic story intrigues me is because I'm on a sailing expedition now. I'm with Victoria Energy Expedition, and I know how quickly circumstances can change out there. I mean, the whole Titanic thing all happened within a couple, a couple hours. Uh, a lot of people would have just been waking up and maybe had, you know, 15, or 20 minutes to react. So, uh, man, I don't know what I would have done in those circumstances. Anyways, what do I know? I mean, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a boat captain, but uh, I think they could have saved a lot of lives. Thank you, Leo and Kate Winslet, for making me think a little bit more about this.